Well, firstly, my lord, uh. the, the, the witness is not feeling well. What's wrong with her? Um, What's wrong with her? Yeah, I, I, I think she is here, my lord. She, she, she can explain what... Haven't I, I you can, consulted with her? Uh, yes, I did, my lord. She just told me that she is not... Uh, because of these problems that are being encountered regarding the accommodation, um, she's not psychologically ready to proceed today. So, when will the problems be solved? I, I, I spoke, and this is one of the reasons why it took longer, my lord. I was speaking to the court manager, and she promised to look into that, my lord. I was speaking with your assistant. She tells me the same problem arose in the past. Mr. Sibanda. You know, me, I'm old school. I can't tolerate uh, this type of behavior. person comes to court, gives evidence. When she must be cross-examined, a problem arises which has got nothing to do with the running of the court. How is that possible? Yes. As a, as a court policeman, I think it's beyond our control. And then control. I'm told, uh -uh, we must adjourn. Because the, wit the witness yes. is not feeling well. Yes. Is that the reason? Or because there are problems with uh, having paid for the accommodation or whatever. Then we must adjourn. Well, in the main, my lord, uh, she is not feeling well. And she, she is here to confirm it. And the defense, what do you say? No objection, my lord. Nine minutes. I've got nine as well, my lord. You what? I've got none as well, my lord. Okay. Tell me, Miss, what's your full name, by the way? Miss Tande? Zandile. Just stand Zandile. up, please. Just stand up. What's your full name? Zandile Lorraine Kumar. Yes, what's wrong with you? I have a pain on my chest. Hello? I have a pain on my chest. You have a pain in your chest? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll postpone to what time tomorrow? 10 o'clock, my lord. 10 o'clock, then. Now, the accommodation problems, have they been solved? Uh, they will be resolved, hopefully, my lord. Let me tell you what's, what I once did when I was sitting in the mattress about 15 years back. I had uh, some accused who came to court, and one of them suddenly got sick because maybe she was, she was supposed to be cross-examined. And what happened is, then she said, he said, it was a, a he, he said he had some problems physically. I said the prosecutor must get in touch with the district surgeon. The district surgeon. You remember that case? Yeah. The yeah, district no, surgeon. Yes. Then they told me the district surgeon is somewhere else and the three of them are not present. And the prosecutor told me that in terms of government regulations, you can't hire a private doctor because you need three, you three, three quotations from a, a private doctor. They must go to three doctors. They must give different quotations, and the least expensive is the one you take. Guess what I did? Yes. I got a private doctor to examine the gentleman, and I undertook even to pay. And the private doctor came from Carlton Center to the court, examined this gentleman, and pronounced that he's just stressed because he's undergoing a trial. But after that, the, the case went on. Yes. I, I, I'm certain, my lord, that from tomorrow onwards there won't be any further delays, my lord, of this nature. Okay, fine. We adjourn until tomorrow at 10. Yes.